Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I want to show you how to install the updated private GPT version 0 0.40 and how to integrate this with Olama. For first time users of private GPT, private GPT is an AI tool that allows us to ingest documents stored on our local computer. The program will ingest your documents and using AI and large language models, Private GPT will allow you to query and interact with these ingested documents. The new versions of Private GPT also ships with a web user interface, plus the ability to run a ChatGPT chatbot locally using open source large language models of your choosing. Private GPT has gone through three major updates since its original release. Have a look on our channel at the first two iterations of Private GPT. The original version of Private GPT was a nimble and fast tool that you could use to chat with your documents. Its limitation was it could only be used from the command line. It's now known as the primordial version. You can watch this video and follow the steps using the GitHub page for the primordial version if you still want to build this version. The project then received a massive update, including a web GUI and the chatbot capabilities added. But this version was very complicated to build and GPU offloading for AMD and NVIDIA cards was difficult to get set up and working. The latest version of Private GPT now allows you to offload all those complexities of managing the large language models and the GPUs to a third party of your choice, like Olama. I think this is a great move in the right direction. It simplifies the install, removes complexities, and allows for a general better install and operating experience. Now let's set up Private GPT with Olama on Windows. If you have not worked with Olama yet, I would suggest looking at this video. This video will show you how to install Olama on Windows, and here I unpack the commands available in Olama. To get Olama up and running for Private GPT, visit olama.com and download the Windows installer. Install Olama, and when the installer finalizes, make sure that you can see the Olama service up and running in your taskbar. Let's first confirm that Olama is working. Open a command prompt and execute the command Olama and the Olama command should return a list of all the available commands in Olama. You can now go ahead and download a model to use for private GPT. We'll download the Mistral model. Execute the following command, Olama pull Mistral. Now that we successfully downloaded the Mistral model, let's install the embeddings. Execute the following command, Olama space pull space nomic dash embed dash text and now that you have the mistral model and the embeddings you can just make sure olama is running by executing olama space serve with olama up and running we can now move on to installing private gpt and its required software first download git for windows next download a version of python 3.11 it's important to use the correct version of Python here. Grab a copy of Anaconda. We're going to use this to run Private GPT in its own environment. And lastly, download a copy of Visual Stereo Community Edition. And now that we have all the software downloaded, first install Git and you can accept all the defaults. And now that we've got Git successfully installed, let's install Python 3.11. And when the installer launches, make sure you select this checkbox to add Python to your path. Then go ahead, install Python. Now with Python successfully installed, let's move on to Anaconda. I'm going to go with the default options detected by Anaconda, as you can see on the following screens. Now go ahead, install Anaconda. Now you are ready to install Visual Studio Community Edition. Run the installer, and when presented with this options dashboard, ensure you select Desktop Development 
with C++ and the Universal Windows Platform Development. Click on Install. When the installation completes, it will launch Visual Studio. You can skip registration, choose your theme, let Visual Studio launch, and afterwards close it, as well as the installer when everything is complete. Visit the Make for Windows website and click here to download the setup program for Windows. You can install Make and you can accept all the defaults. You need to find where you installed Make and find the Make executable. The default location is Program Files x86 GNU Win32 Bin. Copy this location. We want to add this as an environment variable. With Make successfully installed, we need to add its path as a system variable. Click on your search bar and look for System. Click on that. Then open the Advanced System Settings. Click and open the Windows Environment Variables. Click on the Path System Variable and click on Edit. Click on New and add the path that we just copied where Make is installed. Save your changes and close all the open windows. Let's start configuring the environment for private GPT. Open a command prompt in admin mode. Now you want to run the following commands in a command prompt. The first thing we want to do is upgrade pip. Go ahead and execute the following command. Python space dash m space pip space install space dash dash upgrade space pip. Go ahead, execute this command and upgrade pip. Install pipx. We need this to install Poetry. Execute pip space install space pipx. And now we can utilize pipx to install Poetry. Execute the following command. pipx space install space Poetry. You have to execute the following command to add the install to your path. Execute pipx space ensure path. And we can now close this command prompt window. Now open an anaconda prompt and make sure you're running it in admin mode. Now let's create a conda environment for private GPT. Execute the following command. Conda space create space dash n space private GPT space your Python version 3.11. Activate your new environment. Execute conda space activate space private GPT. And if your environment activated successfully, it should show private GPT in brackets. Now we need to create a project folder for private GPT. I'm going to change directory into the root of my drive. Now I'll use the make directory command to create a project folder. In my case, I'm going to call it pgpt. Now let's change directory into the project folder we just created. We're now ready to clone the project. Now before you clone the repo, again make sure the environment is activated, that you're in the project folder you just created. Then go ahead and execute the following git clone command. When cloning the repo, Git will create a new folder called private GPT. Enter that folder, otherwise the following commands will fail. Visit the private GPT install documentation and go to the Ulama section. We want to copy this Ulama install command and this will install and configure private GPT for full local Ulama support. Paste this command in your Anaconda prompt. And that will pull away and install private GPT with the required Alama support. You have to complete the following steps in a new Anaconda PowerShell prompt. Open an Anaconda PowerShell prompt. Activate your private GPT environment again. Make sure you navigate back to your private GPT project folder. Execute the following command in your Anaconda PowerShell terminal. This will set the environment variable to Olama. And once the environment variable is set, go ahead and execute make run. This will build private GPT and start it up with Olama support. 
And if everything went according to plan, you should see Private GPT launching and a web server running on your local machine. Now, with Private GPT started up, open your browser, navigate to 127.0.0.1 on port 8001, and confirm that you can see this Private GPT web page up and running. Now, with Private GPT up and running in the browser, you can either click here to upload and ingest files on your local computer. From there, you can use the query option to chat with your documents, or you can use the search to search them. Before we start ingesting documents, let's first make sure Private GPT is working. I'm going to click on the LLM chatbot, and I'm going to ask it to tell me why cybersecurity is important for a business in no more than 20 words. And there you have it, a short and concise answer on why cybersecurity is important straight out of the Mistral LLM. You should now have a working private GPT and fully integrated with Olama. You can now ingest and chat with your documents or use the chatbot to your heart's content. Thank you so much for watching the video up to this point. If you found any value in this video, please remember to support the channel with a like, comment or subscribe. And keep an eye on the channel for future AI videos.